Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris, a self-taught front-end to web developer. And today I thought I'd just share three resources which I would use um, and actually have used as well when I was learning to code. Um, if I was to start learning over again, and if you wanted to learn to code in 2024. Um, so I'm actually obviously filming this in December of 2023. And just for context, as I mentioned, I'm a self-taught web developer. Um, I started in 2020, um, sort of, yeah, obviously with lockdowns and whatnot here in the UK. Um, and I mainly used these three websites as well as a bit of YouTube as well. Some tutorials there um, and some other resources. But these ones that I'm recommending are completely free. They do have paid plans, or at least two of them do. Um, and if you know obviously myself and a bit more of my story, I did a lot of work on Free Code Camp and Code Academy actually as well. Um, obviously leaning more towards Free Code Camp um, I sort of like that everything on the platform is free, but Code Academy certainly was good um, and was sort of a member of a local meetup group or, or chapter as they're called. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have it here, but yeah, chapters. Um, and that was really good as well to kind of meet developers when I was learning, um, obviously solo and sort of from home. So anyway, I'll um, get into each of these platforms and kind of just give my uh, recommendation and review for each of them. But I certainly do think that they're well worth sort of just having a look at and just investing a little bit of time um, seeing if they might fit you and sort of your learning needs if you are looking to code um, or learn to code in 2024. So I said the first one is Code Academy. Um, I always thought it was Code Academy, but there's no A um, <laughs> between the two. And yeah, basically they have some really nice courses. So if I go over here to the catalog, you can see we can explore all the courses and actually they also have some career paths as well. And I do know from, as I mentioned, I, I joined a, a local chapter to me, um, which is kind of like a meetup group. Um, and I do know the people that went through the full stack engineer and sort of front end career paths um, were really good developers, actually. And it seems that's all they used. Um, so I certainly would would recommend having a look at these. I'm not sure if they're paid. We can kind of check that out. But um, all the ones that I did on Code Academy were completely free. Um, and what's quite cool as well is you can do a quiz. So if you don't know exactly what to learn or what you want to learn, um, you can find out, you know, kind of what career or languages um, might be best for you. And, you know, there's a bunch of questions. And I guess at the end, you get a recommendation um, of kind of a career path, perhaps a language or um, some other areas um, that you might like to explore. So if I go to all the courses, what we can see it's a bunch of languages and subjects as well. Um, and you'll see a lot of these are free. So I always limited it down to the free courses just for myself. I was sort of learning part time on evenings and weekends. Um, and actually to this day, haven't spent a penny um, other than just sort of my time. Um, and I guess sort of obviously laptop and uh, energy or electricity um, sort of for for these for the for the learning and for the courses, really. So free courses here. You could start at beginner as well if you were just getting off. Let's see what intermediate ones there might be. So yeah, it's kind of what I expected. You've got some intermediate courses, um, got TypeScript and React and, and, and Node.js and that kind of thing. But if I go back to beginner, um, I would certainly recommend taking the HTML and JavaScript course and if there's CSS as well, because those are really the sort of the three building blocks for web development, um, if that's kind of what you want to do. So building websites, um, and all of this is transferable as well to let's say building mobile apps. Um, you might then just so learn something slightly different in terms of language. But yeah, there's also cybersecurity, game development, um, so many different languages here. Um, Go, which is one that actually I've been picking up recently. Um, and actually I might come back and, and do that um, tutorial. And Ah, there's Ruby as well. And actually, this was something that I did when I was looking at potentially joining a boot camp. They required you to do this course on Ruby. Um, it was quite short. So 19 lessons there. They're really short, if I remember correctly. Um, and that was because the boot camp, to at least to start with, was going to be taught in Ruby. So they wanted to make sure that you had like a base level. Um, obviously, in the end, I just went fully self-taught route um, and used, as I said, free code camp and, and Scrimba, as well as some of these courses here. Um, but yeah, I do remember a couple of these. I do definitely did the Learn React and I did probably the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Um, 
and now you can see since I've even started learning, they've got um, some stuff on AI, which is cool, and, and GitHub Copilot, which came out um, sort of a year or two ago now. Um, and yeah, as I said, a, a bunch of free courses, and, it, and it's really nice that they've got different levels here. So actually, I'm probably going to check out some of these intermediate ones um, if I haven't done them already. Um, but I, yeah, I certainly know that um, these are some really well laid out courses. It's quite nice. Again, you have an IDE to, to code in. Um, and if you're looking at web development or mobile development, I certainly would recommend HTML and CSS as sort of that starting block um, just to, to kind of get going. And if you don't know, HTML is hypertext markup language. That's kind of what's displayed on the page in terms of this text here. Um, and let's say these elements, these are sort of, let's say, blocks on the page and there's some animation. Um, but that's the actual animation and the colors and the font size and everything is controlled by CSS, which is cascading style sheets um, so all of that you'll learn on the course i'm sure and then you can kind of dive into javascript and then more about web development as well but yeah i'd certainly recommend taking the quiz um, and i'll i'll leave the the quiz link below as well um, in the description block box and then at least you can kind of know roughly what areas they might recommend you to start looking at um, and you don't have to do it through code academy or take out a plan um, but yeah as i said i do know from the people that I've worked with um, that went to or like from the chapter that were obviously learning through Free Code Camp, the um, the career paths are, are really good. Um, and yeah, they had a lot of knowledge from these and like the different projects. I think it was well worth looking at. So number two is Free Code Camp. Um, and obviously I've got quite a few channel um, videos on this channel about Free Code Camp. So I won't go into it too much. You can kind of check one of the other videos, which I'll link below. But yeah, they've got a bunch of different um, certificates, basically. And you can see here, we firstly, um, we would learn, let's say, responsive web design. And I think the actual structure is really good. You're learning HTML and CSS. And then you might uh, sort of move on to JavaScript um, and then perhaps front end development. But you can certainly skip some of these. And let's say you want to go straight to back end development or, or databases or quality assurance, you can take that certificate. Um, and they're kind of interchangeable at that point, I kind of think. But I'd say the first three, um, or certainly the first, first two, are really well worth taking. Um, you know, it's completely free. They have a great community, as you can see, over 9,000 tutorials. Um, and I reckon, yeah, it says more than 40,000. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm one of them since then, since when I started. That was the first thing I ever did. Um, learning to code was the responsive web design. Um, and I should say this has actually been updated since I, I guess I did the now legacy responsive web design certificate, which I'm not sure if it's here anymore, but it was at one point. Um, so it's updated now. I've actually been through that on the channel and I found it really good. Um, yeah, it's a really nice course and sort of well paced for beginners. So finally, the last one that I'd recommend is Scrimba. Um, and this is perhaps a slightly newer, obviously, website and I guess company um, that are running it. And they're, I guess, more akin to Code Academy, where they've got a lot of free courses, but they've got also paths. Um, so front end developer. Um, and it's kind of like, I guess, would let's say replace a bootcamp. They do, I, I definitely do know they've got a really good uh, developer community on Discord. Um, and actually, the same as Code Academy and responsive. Um, web design sort of the free code camp as well um so yeah but actually this one is really quite nice because it's a little bit different to the others so the other ones you let's say you'll be writing the code within the window um let's say like like this for free code camp for example so you've got your prompt and you've got your output and you'll sort of write your code here and we can just do let's say test and we can see that in the console with scrimba um, if I play this, let's say we go into what they call a scrim. Um, I don't know if you can see the URL here. And this will start playing a video, well, which is really there. cool. And I'll just stop that for a second. But if I click onto the screen, it then becomes an IDE. And I can start writing, you know, JavaScript um, in this case. Uh, I don't know, data equals true, for example. And then I can run that. I can preview it. So that's just showing and hiding this mini browser, which is really nice. And then we've got a console as well. So it's a whole, like, I guess, JavaScript execution um, window. It's just a browser kind of within the browser. Um, 
but yeah really nice and i would certainly recommend giving it a try just to even sort of see uh, you know to it'd be it's good to know that it's even possible um that this technology exists and you can see actually there is a live scrimba town hall at the moment so yeah they do have a lot of um events and, and sort of live streams going on as well which will helps when you're learning to code because yeah it certainly can be a little bit isolating um but obviously as i said having um a well-structured course and then also a good developer community of other learners and sort of keeping each other accountable um i think that that's sort of invaluable and if i just go to the free ones here as i said definitely would recommend it it won't hurt um, just having a look and sort of doing some free courses to see if you like the platform and the instructors. Um, but I do know for myself, um, yeah, found them, them really good. I know Per, I think, is the sort of one of the co-founders. Um, he's really good and, and I've done this uh, this course and certainly the HTML CSS. And then this one with Learn React um, was, was amazing. I mean, it was 13 hours, almost... Yeah, sort of 13 and a half hours there. It, it's a lot, but it's well worth doing to really solidify your React knowledge. And if this is the same one that I did, we actually went through like class-based components first and then refactored to functional components. Um, and that might not mean much to you as a, let's say if you're a beginner or a junior developer, but yeah, if you're learning React, you'll kind of understand what that is. Um, and that really solidified my knowledge of not only React, but also just JavaScript as well and sort of understanding what's going on there. Um, so yeah, really good instructor there. Um, and yeah, a, a bunch of really good courses as well for free. So ES6, um, HTML and CSS Crash Course by Kevin Powell. Um, and yeah, some really nice free courses. And then, as I said, the paths, I personally haven't taken them. And I don't know um, sort of anyone who has actually in my circle. But it seems like there's quite a lot here. There's, again, another 13-hour React course, which is Advanced React and actually yeah, here's the front end developer career path and they've also got an ai engineer path as well um so yeah really interesting um and certainly would, would recommend um sort of having a look at this and see if you can um sort of even just complete some of the free ones and sort of see which one you like best out of all the platforms of scrimba free code camp and code academy and as i said it certainly doesn't help to use all three or two um but yeah i you could even just get away with just using the one um, and that would be enough to start or kickstart your knowledge um, and sort of start learning to code in 2024. So yeah, that's kind of all for today. I hope that was useful if you're kind of still deciding between different platforms. Um, those are the best free um, or the three top three uh, free platforms uh, you could say that I've come across. Let me know in the comments if you've got any others. I know there's like Team Treehouse and some other platforms and maybe just what I call YouTube University of different tutorials through YouTube. Um, but I do think a, a structured way of learning to code and sort of um, outside of just copying and pasting um, really gets sort of the, the connections firing and you kind of understand the code more deeply as you're learning. Um, but yeah, feel free to uh, let me know if you've got any other recommendations that might help other aspiring developers. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.